judge is now threatening to impose even higher fines if the Newton teacher strike stretches beyond this weekend. WBZ's Beth Germano is at the court in Woburn as we head into the weekend without a deal. Uh, my concern is that if I keep escalating the coercive fines, it will undermine the collective bargaining that's supposed to be the solution. But saying he'll take it one day at a time, Judge Christopher Barry Smith did impose potential further fines on striking Newton teachers if they're not back in the classroom Monday, but also says he doesn't want either side to rely on them to settle the dispute. What I hope not to hear is that there's been a, uh, we're just one side or the other, we're just going to ride this out uh, because we're counting on the fines. And as he looked for evidence of good faith bargaining, there was finger pointing on both sides. Not really meaningfully coming to the table with a sincere intent to reach agreement, which is what the case standards say. It is not mutually exclusive for us to have teachers in the building while good faith bargaining is taking place. But teachers say they won't return to the classroom without an agreement. And while attorneys say there has been some progress, big ticket items that involve money, including salary and cost of living increases, remain far apart. They are treating us like criminals. We are not criminals. We are the people of this city that take care of this city. Striking teachers rallied again today, but a group of frustrated parents has now circulated a letter to all sides, saying students are experiencing pandemic-like challenges and urgent agreements, saying children's interests have been subordinated in the fog of war and need to win. Attorneys for the city believe union fines should be punitive, not coercive, to work. It hasn't worked in this case because they have a significant amount of money and uh, there are donations that we are, have, do not know what the amount of those donations are. But for now, the judge says he will slow things down, but could impose another $50,000 on top of the $375,000 already imposed by 8 o'clock Sunday night if no agreement has been reached over the weekend as the courtroom becomes another battleground. Reporting live from Middlesex Superior Court in Woburn, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Beth, thank you.